Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am your host, Angel Ferguson, and I thank you so very much for joining us today. We are super, super excited about what God is doing. Things are are changing and shifting in the atmosphere as we are learning to submit ourselves unto the will of God. We thank you so very much for joining us. It is always an honor and a pleasure to come and to spend some time with you here via via our uh, radio ministry or rather via television ministry or with partners in prayer. We say thank you for joining in with us and we'd love to stay connected with you. If you would like to send in your prayer request, your ministry so that we can include you in partners in prayer please feel free to email us at a ferguson wrp at yahoo.com on yesterday we shared some words of encouragement with you from the 51st division of songs and and so we are continuing we're dealing with the heart uh, God wants us to be purged from the heart and and it's the the hidden things within our hearts that will keep us out of the kingdom of heaven and so we we feel it pressed upon us we feel the the sounding of the alarm that we bring to you from the scriptures what God is saying unto the body of Christ. We can do good works. We can live a quiet, peaceful life causing no harm to anyone. But if our heart is not right, we will not be able to enter into the kingdom of heaven. We, we will not be able to fully do what God called us to do. We must do it with a pure heart. And so when we return, we are going to go over into Romans, the fourth chapter. And we're going to talk about uh, circumcision of the heart. Now on yesterday and, and previous to this, we, we've talked about purging and purging of the heart. And right now we're going to go over into the New Testament and and, and just take a look at what Paul has to say about circumcision, circumcision of the heart, not of the flesh. I need those things removed from my spirit, my God, so that I may be pleasing unto him so that I am uh, able to do what he calls me to do so that he can use me because I am a willing sacrifice holy and acceptable unto him that's my reasonable service for all that he has done we'll be back in just a moment angel ferguson's ministries would like to invite you to partners in prayer tuesdays six o'clock p.m to seven o'clock p.m the call-in number is five one five six zero four nine eight two five the access code is one three two three one seven once again that's partners in prayer tuesdays six o'clock p.m to seven o'clock p.m eastern standard time call in number is five one five six zero four nine eight two five the access code is one three two three one seven As we do according to James, the fifth chapter and the 16th verse, pray ye one for another that ye may be healed. And welcome back to The Balance of Life. I am your host and we thank you so very much for joining us today. Just to give you a recap. On yesterday, we talked about uh, my heart needs to be clean. And and as I was getting prepared and ready for my day, I I wear this heart around my neck. And as I picked up the heart, um, I looked at it and I said, uh, "Hmm, my heart needs to be cleaned. And uh, but that did something in my spirit. It quickened in my spirit so that I needed to uh, just search the scriptures and pray about it because we are talking about uh, we've been talking about foundation 
and uh, that is a part of our ministry here at Angel Ferguson's Ministries. We we talk about foundation uh, from from the root, um, from the beginning, and so that uh, we are equipped and we are brought unto spiritual knowledge, spiritual understanding. Uh, the Word of God says that if a man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God. And so we've asked. And, and we, we do something with that asking. Uh, we've asked, but we also have to apply ourselves in reading the Word of God. And so uh, I wanted to share with you, um, we've been talking about it quite a bit here uh, over uh, in the, and, and we're still in the book of Psalms. Praise God. Psalms 139 says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. And then back over in the 91st, uh, the 51st division of Psalms, excuse me, the entire book of the 51st division of songs is good but we started at the 7th verse yesterday purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean wash me and I shall be whiter than snow make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou has broken may rejoice and so in that purging some things within us a lot of things within us are broken they are broken because uh, they are not the things of God and he must break those things from our lives so that we may be good for him to use. We are to come unto him as we are because we cannot save ourselves. We cannot justify ourselves. We cannot have righteousness unto ourselves. It is unto him that we are right, righteous. And so he must break some things from our lives. He must break some things from our hearts. And so at the seventh verse, it says, Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. If I allow you to clean me, if I allow you to purge me, not me, because if I do it, it's under self-righteousness. And then if someone comes along and makes me angry, guess what? I can revert back. I can say what I want to say, but if I let him purge me, if I allow the Holy Spirit to lead and guide me, my tongue is under submission, and I have control over the power of sin. I have control over the negative things that might want to come out of my mouth. Why? Because I daily feed myself the Word of God. I, that is That has become my first meal of the day. You see, as you draw closer to Christ, things about you are going to change because he's drawing you closer to him. And so my first meal of the day has changed. It's no longer natural food, but my first meal of the day has turned to spiritual food. My first meal of the day is the word of God. Verse 10 says, create in me a clean heart. O oh God, and renew a right spirit in me. This should become our daily prayer, our daily supplication. First, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're asking, we're, we're instead of asking, and, and what we're doing is, is, is we're searching the scriptures, because everything that we give is based off of scripture, not our opinion or our thoughts, or not even... Um, what we saw experienced in our fellow man but what is written in the Word of God all scripture was written by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit I need a clean heart I need to be circumcised of my heart and so now we're going to go over to Romans and we're going to look at the fourth chapter beginning at the ninth verse it says cometh this blessedness then upon the circumcision only, or upon the uncircumcision only. For we say that faith was reckoned to Abraham for righteousness. How was it then reckoned? When he was in circumcision or in uncircumcision, not circumcision, 
but in uncircumcision. So what is it? Paul is saying, what is it? What was his righteousness unto? Righteousness is not upon uh, circumcision of the flesh. Salvation is not un unto flesh. Righteousness is not unto the flesh. Our salvation is unto faith where you believe in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We have faith in Jesus. Our faith is that God gave his only begotten son which is Jesus Christ. He was born under the Virgin, uh, through the Virgin Mary. He, he, he was put on the cross. He was beaten, he was whipped. They put a thorn of crowns in his head. They spat upon him. All of this was done for you and I. He became the sacrifice. And they hung him and he died, but he rose again on the third day. We believe that God gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, and that is our faith. What we also have to gain an understanding of is we can't live any kind of way and truly have faith in Jesus Christ. If I have really, really accepted him as my Lord and Savior, and I'm learning more about him, and the Holy Spirit is drawing me and drawing me and drawing me, those things that I did in my carnal life, I will no longer desire to do those things. Why? Because they are not pleasing unto God. My desire changes. Your desire should change, that you have a desire to please God, that you have a desire to put aside those things that are not pleasing unto him. And, 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 and when you get down to the meat of it, it's the things that are tucked away. I need everything about me, even the things that are tucked away. I need them to please God too. Even the things that, that, that my eyes can't see, nor the eyes of man could see, but God looks upon the heart and he's looking for a pure heart today. It's not about things that we can lay aside ourselves. You can train yourself to stop using profanity. You can train yourself and through programs to stop drinking alcohol. You can train yourself to stop doing fornication and committing adultery. You can change your, uh, train yourself to stop, to stop doing those things. But if it's still in your heart, you can, you can train the physical part, but it could still lie in wait within your heart. God knows the heart and I need everything I don't know about you but I need everything body mind soul heart spirit. I need everything to fall under the will of God we'll be back in just a moment accepting applications here in Angel Ferguson's Ministries School of Ministry and Mentoring. Please visit us via the website at www.aferguson.simplesite.com. Via the website, you can check out the courses that we offer, the enrollment process, along with the cost. And because we have been accepted and recognized by the state of Florida as a religious institution, upon completion of your course, we can provide you with certification uh, with our seal that will be recognized by the state. Once again, that is www.aFergusonSWRP.SimpleSite.com. Or feel free to give us a call Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. at 813-336-2181. And welcome back to The Balance of Life. I thank you so very much for joining us today because truly uh, we are excited about what God is doing. Uh, we give him thanks, honor, and praise for allowing us to be in this day. Uh, 
uh, just just an awesome, awesome word of God. And we, we've been dealing with uh, the circumcision of the heart, being purged of the heart. Exactly what does that mean? And so we've gone over a little further uh, just to uh, the circumcision of the heart. It is not something that is done in the natural. This is not a natural act. You can train yourself not to do certain things, but it could yet remain in your heart. And those things that are not of Christ, it could be malice, jealousy, uh, gossip, uh, covetousness, wickedness, anything of a, of a evil nature, the works of the flesh, those things could still manifest in your heart. You might not do them physically in the natural, but they can yet remain in your heart. A evil thought towards someone, past hurts, disappointments, uh, you know, just all manner of things that are not pleasing unto God. And remember, God sees the heart of man. And so where so many have trained themselves in the physical not to do certain things, they yet lie within the heart. And so those things need to be removed. And that's why circumcision of the heart is not, um, it's not of the flesh. This isn't something that, that you can lay aside. It is what God does in the heart. But you must seek this. You must ask for this. And so there are scriptures that lead you to this, that will teach you what that means. And and we looked at two scriptures over in uh, the 51st division of Psalms. And then we went over to the 109th division, the 139th division of Psalms. And now we're looking over in Romans. And Paul is teaching, Paul is really, really teaching um, in his writings, in his epistles, he's teaching that um, it's not something that can happen in the natural. God isn't looking at the natural. Now, here's what happens. As you draw closer to God and, and you desire that pure heart, uh, no, uh, uh, we, uh, uh, faith is by grace. And so, but you have such a love for Christ as I was reading and hearing the, the commentary that it will cause you to want to do good works for Christ. But I must be circumcised and purified in my heart because I can't present anything on behalf of Christ and it have any kind of tightness or any kind of um, evil connected to it. And so, yes, I want to be purged from my heart because everything that I do, I want it to represent Christ. And I don't want to have a hidden agenda. I don't want to have a, a personal vendetta. I don't want eyes on me. I need you to see the Christ in me. So that when I go to him in prayer, my heart is clean. My motive is pure. I have no hidden agenda. I'm going in with a pure heart. I'm, I'm asking daily. God, if I looked at someone the wrong way, if I felt that they looked at me the wrong way, anything that the enemy tries to bring to me that does not line up with the word of God, that is not pleasing to him, I don't want those things to manifest in my heart. I don't want those things to attach themselves to me. God looks at the heart of man not the outer appearance we we look at the outer appearance we can look at someone and we can assume because they are dressed so finely and properly um, because they're doing all of the right things that they're holy but they're doing the that's the that's the appearance they put on before you that is actually having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. But he looks upon the heart. And he knows my heart. And he knows that when you persevere to do what is right and pleasing unto him. Not pleasing unto man, but unto him. 
that is my ultimate goal to please him am i pleasing him and as i continue to, to submit myself under the will of the father allowing the holy spirit to lead and guide me into all truth my desire yet grow stronger and stronger remove those things from my heart because i don't want to bring any disrespect unto the anointing of god i i, I found that um i have this this new intense fear that i don't want to displease god i don't want to do anything that that disrespects him and that's uh whether i'm in the presence of anybody or alone by myself I don't want to disrespect God in any kind of way I want to remain humble so that he may dwell in me I don't want to be cast aside I don't want him to close up his ears that he doesn't hear my prayers I don't want him to close his eyes from me that he does not see me I and, and because he's looking at my heart and it must be pure. He's not looking at my actions. He's looking at the intent behind my actions. We'll be back in just a moment. There is more to offer here at Angel Ferguson's Ministries. Our television ministry airs every Monday and Friday, 11.30 a.m. to 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tune in to our YouTube channel, The Balance of Life with Angel Ferguson, as well as via Viloud.com. Just search for The Balance of Life and tune in every Monday and Friday, 11.30 a.m. to 12 o'clock p.m. For more details, please email us at aferguson.wrp at yahoo.com. And welcome back to The Balance of Life. We certainly thank you for spending the afternoon with us here in Tampa. It is actually raining. Uh, and I shouldn't say that with surprise because uh, clearly on the other side of town or even maybe across the street, it could be dry. But uh, from where we are uh, here uh, at our studio location, it is raining. But we thank God for the rain. The rain replenishes, the rain uh, washes the way, the rain uh, uproots, uh, the rain restores, and, and so we thank God for the rain. It is by His divine appointment when He says, let the showers fall, it is because He says so. We'll be back in just a moment. Angel Ferguson's Ministries would like to invite you to Partners in Prayer, Tuesdays, 6 o'clock p.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. The call-in number is 515-604-9825. The access code is 132317. Once again, that's Partners in Prayer, Tuesdays, 6 o'clock p.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Call-in number is 515-604-9825. The access code is 132317. As we do according to James, the 5th chapter and the 16th verse, pray ye one for another that ye may be healed. And welcome back. God is doing some awesome and amazing things. I encourage you to get into a place of prayer. Uh, get into your word of God and, and just uh, stay there and, 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 and read and meditate and allow the Holy Spirit to reveal unto you uh, the mysteries of the word allow the Holy Spirit to to speak to you the things that God would have to say unto you uh, he's going to reveal some things to you connected to uh, the ministry that you are with the ministry that he has within you within your bowels uh, just allow God to do what he's going to do in your life We thank him for, for just being God alone. As I stated, I, uh, we're definitely uh, welcoming uh, 
Lorraine. It is awesome, awesome, awesome. I'd like to send out a special invitation uh, every Monday uh, for Charity Lighthouse of Faith located in Vineland, New Jersey under the uh, teaching of Apostle Naaman Wilson Jr. Uh, from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m. Bible study. The current study is the five-fold ministry and you can listen from the comfort of your home. How about that? That is a call-in number so the location does not matter. There is a call-in number 563-999-1421. The access code is 755451. And there is a call back number 515-604-9881. And so we invite you every Monday, 6 o'clock to 7, uh, 7 o'clock. Uh, that's my uh, conference tonight. Uh, 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m. Current study is the fivefold ministry. Uh, just going to the foundation, going over the ministry gifts that are given by God. And right now, on this past Monday, uh, we were finishing up and we're still in the office of Apostle. And so, uh, great, great teaching. We definitely invite you to, to join us. Call in, once again, 563-999-1421 every Monday night, 7 to 8 o'clock p.m. And if you miss uh, one of the teachings, there is a chance that you can tune in. Uh, the callback number is 515-604-9881. Access code is 755 755- Four five one, and we thank you so very much. You know, uh, God is doing so much within what we do here as a ministry, and He has allowed us to, uh, you know, connect with some ministries uh, far beyond where we are, uh, Baltimore, Maryland, uh, several ministries in New Jersey area several here in Florida and so we are thanking God for allowing us to connect with ministries and if you would like to be connected with us uh, we definitely will keep you in our prayers and uh, just support one another the main thing we can do support each other in prayer is uh, send us over a email a Ferguson WRP at yahoo.com and uh, we look forward to connecting with ministries across this world uh, we are called uh, to pray ye one for another and 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 that that ties in with uh, uh, what's going on with the heart of God's people what's going on in my heart am I really really sincere about doing the work of God and until you are purged in your heart that sincerity is really not there and then you you and, and I have to say this because I feel that the Holy Spirit is allowing me to say it a lot of times when you see jealousies amongst ministries and individuals it's because the intent of the heart is not pure uh, what I do and what you do I certainly applaud you because that is the gifting God gave you and he gave you a particular audience and he gave me a particular audience but because the intent of the heart is not pure you find individuals fighting over the same audience And God would not have it so. He has, uh, before uh, you were born, before you and I were born, uh, he knew you. He knew who he wanted to speak to. Uh, he knew who he wanted you to minister unto. He knew where he wanted to send you. He knew exactly what word he was going to put in you to deliver. Same goes for the ministry gifts that he has placed within you. And so two can actually walk together with the same gifting, but they have a different audience. They have a different method of delivering that message. We have to be purified and cleansed, purged from the heart, circumcised from the heart. So that the will of God is done. That is the ultimate goal. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our 
Forgive us not our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. We thank you. We will return on Saturday. Have a blessed afternoon.